All right, Joe Dawes. In today's video, I want to discuss a stock that I've been following for quite some time now called Cowie, also known as Coralware Incorporated. I'm very bullish on the stock and excited to share why with you. But before we get started, I'm not offering any specific investment advice. You should do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor and any investments you do are at your own risk and responsibility. This is all my opinion and I'm not able to guarantee any specific outcome. By the way, if we haven't met already, I'm Joe and I love to make videos regarding personal finance, investing, real estate, and life topics. If you find any value in this video, do me a favor and smash the like button it really helps support and grow the channel so cowie is a penny stock and more specifically a sub penny stock literally it's under one cent so it's very affordable at this price point all right so i won't bore you with a lot of the information from the past but i'm going to fill you on on what's going on right now so coralware was previously a software professional service company whose focus was on r d engineering services business process workflow software architecture design and development that is now transitioning into a carbon and hydrogen tech company. So over the last couple months, Cali has been in the process of getting its financial disclosure requirements up to date so that they can become current once again on OTC exchange, which actually occurred last Thursday. And we did see a major spike in volume and an increase in price. So for me, becoming pink current is the first step in other major upcoming catalysts. Reason being is now it will attract a new pool of investors because the company is becoming compliant and more transparent, which gives investors more confidence. Now to me, it became very apparent last Thursday and Friday that something strange was going on. We had massive volume and buys coming in, but we experienced an endless cycle of shares being traded at the 0.0019 to 0.0020 range. A wall was put up that prevented the stock from going much higher. Now, in my opinion, I believe this was a combination of day traders flipping the stock for quick profit, traders taking profit who bought in at a much lower price, likely in the trips, meaning 0.0009 or lower, and stop loss orders being taken out by market makers. I mean, I watched the level two on Thursday and Friday closely. And to me, again, this is just my opinion but there seemed to be a coordinated effort to hold the stock price down i mean there were times where the bid and ask price didn't make any sense and the stock price was taken down after a ton of buying at higher levels overall i'm still holding from 0.0001 and i'm confident in the stock long term now despite the sell-off on friday if you look at the chart and think about the developments in the pipeline we have very strong reasons to be confident in our investment now the stock is still up 1300% year to date and still up 133% over the last three months. That's why when in doubt, zoom out. Patience is a virtue. This isn't a get rich overnight, but I do believe this company has huge potential and I'd be very surprised if this stock isn't in the one cent to three cents range by the end of summer. Again, from a technical perspective, this stock is still a buy. The way I see it is we're shaking loose the paper hand, the flippers, and it's a great buying opportunity at a lower price. But to me, this stock has nowhere to go but up and here's why. All right, guys, so this is what I'm most excited about is the technology and partnerships Coreware is working on. So Coreware has stated that it's at the beginning of a new era of the processing of organic ways to generate economically sustainable hydrogen and high value carbon products. Essentially, they're in the business of turning trash waste into something that can be used. That's huge. Hydrogen and carbon technology, which I believe is the future and tons of money is being poured into these technologies. The company states that they are working on innovative hydrogen solutions and that their proprietary technology will enable them to reduce waste streams and produce hydrogen in a sustainable manner. The company also plans to work on carbon nanotubes, also known as CNTS. These are all future emerging technology, and there's a huge push within the Biden administration to provide funding to this type of technology and other green energy. Now, looking at the quarterly report, what I find very promising is the fact that they stated in 2021, the company began investigating emerging technologies, strategic intellectual property partnerships, and sustainable growth business opportunities related to the production of hydrogen, and high value carbon products from organic waste streams. The company states that working cooperatively with Oxford University Innovation, Cali plans to implement proven and patent technologies to add value to organic waste streams by utilizing these proven proprietary technologies. Collected and captured plastic waste materials can be upcycled to high value products such as carbon nanotubes and hydrogen gas. Carbon nanotubes can be used for improved electrical conduction and reinforcing materials that are used in a wide variety of industries, including the automotive industry, aviation industry, medical industry, and construction. The number one growth driver is the increasing need for high performance batteries for the electric vehicle market. Additionally, the global hydrogen market is expected to more than double by the end of the decade. Plastic waste is a cheap and abundant feedstock that will allow the company to scale quickly and produce hydrogen gas for a competitive price. Now, in addition to all that, Cali has stated that they are OTC current and that they are working on a Reg A form with the SEC. So under the federal securities laws, any offer or sale of a security must either be registered with the SEC or meets an exemption. So Regulation A is an exemption from the registration requirements allowing companies to offer and sell the securities without having to register the offering with the SEC. Companies relying on a Regulation A exemption can offer and sell their securities to the public under two different tiers 
that have two different requirements, which is tier one and tier two. Under both tiers, the issuer must file an offering statement on form 1A with the SEC. All right, guys. So under tier one, an issuer can raise up to $20 million in a 12-month period, including no more than $6 million on behalf of selling security holders that are affiliates of the insurer. Under tier two, an issuer can raise up to $50 million in a 12-month period, including no more than $15 million on behalf of selling security holders that are affiliates of the insurer. I think this is great news, guys, in my opinion. Essentially, the CEO wants to raise funding to execute business plans on Cowie in a very big way. He'll have to offer shares at a certain price, definitely above the current price, and I'm hoping that it's offered at one cent or higher, which would be very desirable. We'll have to see. Again, if you ask me, I don't think the CEO would go through all the trouble of getting the company updated, getting it current, before the September SEC deadline. I really don't think he would go through all this trouble to move the company forward if he didn't have a plan. Now, many companies on the OTC exchange will be getting delisted by September if they're not OTC current. And if you think about it, a lot of those investors will be looking for somewhere to park their money, and Cowie seems to be well positioned to attract new investors. I'm expecting an update from the company, hopefully this week or next, and I think we'll see a rally and a rebound in price. Again, this is a stock I plan to hold for a while to see what happens, and of course, as time progresses, I'll reevaluate my investing strategy. Please comment below and let me know your thoughts on Cowie. I would love your feedback. I really hope you found value in the video. If you did, do me a favor and tap the like button and share it with others. It helps to support and grow the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I'm posting valuable new content multiple times a week. Thanks again for watching and until next time.